hey youtube welcome back to my channel so on today's recipe we are going to be making a staple for every baby shower cookout whatever the event is meatballs if the meatballs is not there we not coming y'all super easy let's get into the recipe so here i have some meatballs that i picked up from the store they do have um beef chicken and pork now if you prefer just beef meatballs that is absolutely fine. So you are going to transfer your meatballs over into an aluminum pan. It's just easy for transport, especially if you are taking this to an event. You don't want to overfill the pan. So once it's about three fourths of the way full, then that's it. So I have here a half a cup of water. You're gonna just sprinkle it around. And what this does is just make um, makes it a little bit easier to steam. And it makes sure that um, we're steaming our meatballs correctly so that they cook evenly. And then you're going to cover that with some aluminum foil and you want to make sure that it is sealed and kind of, you know, tight so that we get a good steam um, while cooking. So I put the meatballs in the oven for 30 minutes steamed and this is what they look like. But don't worry, guys, this is just the um, midway in the process. So now we are going to create our sauce for our infamous baby shower meatballs so i start off with some sweet chili thai sauce the brand is maggie i will show you guys a picture of the bottle um just so you know which one to get this is the best one in my opinion hands down um i also put in some grape jelly you can use grape jelly grape jam grape preserves you know potatoes potatoes tomatoes tomatoes um and then we're also going to go in and add some brown sugar and that's gonna make our meatballs like really nice and sticky because you know that's what all meatballs is given okay so we're gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir um and kind of blend these together i am doing this over high heat so that our jelly kind of melts down very nicely within our sauce so guys i ain't gonna lie i tried to do this with a wooden um spatula but it wasn't given what it was supposed to give so i had to move over to a whisk and as you can see um, on high heat everything melted and blended together beautifully so you're just going to keep stirring until you get rid of all the clumps from your grape jelly because you want a nice smooth finish so once your sauce is together um this is what your meatballs they're supposed to have like are already somewhat like browns they're already supposed to be brown just a little bit before you add your sauce um, but you don't want them well done before you add your sauce because then your meatballs is going to start to get like kind of high hard and that's not what a meatball is supposed to give so once your meatballs are browned um, and you can accomplish this by just putting it in the oven uncovered for a few minutes you're going to go ahead and add your sauce now this part you're going to toss all of your meatballs in the sauce so that um, they all get a nice coating whether they're on the bottom that's like actually sitting in the sauce or on top and then that's what gives each and every meatball one all the sauce and all the flavor and then it makes it sticky because that's what we're looking for like these are I wouldn't call it a Swedish meatballs but they are sticky um, they are very sweet and then they do have that nice little kick from the red pepper flakes from the sweet chili Thai sauce y'all if a baby shower cookout whatever the event is if it does not have meatballs i'm leaving okay this is a staple at any function so we're going to put that back in the oven um for another 30 minutes and then this is what it would look like so as you can see our sauce stuck to our meatballs very 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 well and this is what we look forward to down to to the cookout to any event like what is an event without meatballs as you can see, this, this recipe was super, super, super easy. It really does not take much to accomplish this recipe. As I said, I like um, mine to be sticky with a lot of sauce. So even though they're done, I'm gonna take our um, leftover sauce and I'm gonna just drizzle some more on top because you can never have enough sauce. Like, come on, look at the drip, get into the drip. These meatballs, I'm telling you guys, everybody's gonna be raving. Um, I know some people cook their meatballs with barbecue sauce. There's so many different ways to make baby shower meatballs, but get into this way of making baby shower meatballs and I promise you, you will never regret it. And then look how some of the meatballs have like that nice sear from sitting on top. 
Yes, y'all. Um, so that is going to be it for this recipe. Thank you guys for tuning into another one of my videos. All the support. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. If you make this these um meatballs or this recipe for any function baby shower cookout please let me know in the comment section down below how they turned out for you i love um getting feedback from you guys letting me know that your family enjoyed um all the all the recipes and stuff that you guys duplicate that really does bring me great great joy um and i really enjoy interacting with you guys um because we all bond over food like food is love okay so i will see you guys on my next video again thank you for your continued support i'll catch y'all next time <laughs>